Hello. I am going to read a section from a book called Mathemagical by Colin Davis. It's available on Kindle uh, via the Amazon stores in the UK, in the US and in Germany on the Kindle store. Uh, I'm going to read a small section. It's a children's book about a lad called uh, Ben Small who runs away from home, meets up with a talking snake and uh, goes off to the land of Mathemagical to help them in their quest to def uh, to stop a war with the advancing alphas. The section I'm about to read is Ben and Ada have just arrived at the gates of the city of Mathemagical. The city gates were now fully visible. Two monstrous metal blocks, gold in colour and standing over 30 metres tall. Carved into the middle of each of them was the motto of the city. It looked like a figure eight lying on its side. Ben was in awe. Stretching out from either side of the gates was the great wall of the city. Equal in height to the gates, the solid grey stone battlements cut across the positive and negative lands, forming a formidable barrier. Ben pointed at the carving on the gates. What's that mean? he asked. That's our motto, replied Ada. Infinite, without end, forever. How can anything be without an end? Numbers, dear boy, numbers are infinite. Ben looked perplexed. How? Adder raked his brain to try and explain it. What's the biggest number you can think of? He asked Ben. Um, Ben thought hard. Nine hundred thousand trillion trillion million billion. He looked at Ada with a smug smile. That there can't be a bigger number than that. Add one, retorted Ada. What? Nine hundred thousand trillion trillion million billion plus one. That's a bigger number. Ben looked thoughtful, trying to figure out if he had just been beaten in a test. Yes, but then... Ada interrupted, then add another, and then another, and then... But you could be saying that forever. Ada smiled to indicate that Ben had now understood. Infinite. Ben did in fact now understand. There was no end to numbers. There couldn't be. And, continued Ada, that is the motto of Mathemagical. The city of numbers is without end. It is forever. Or so we thought. The advancing armies of the Alphas, Ben remembered. Adder wiggled up to the gates and, with the end of his tail, banged on them. The knocking made a thunderous booming sound that echoed in every direction. You'd never have thought that a snake, Adder's size, could make such a racket. The right-hand gate opened inwards. A funny little creature. Half the size of Ben and looking like an upside down horseshoe with feet that stuck out sideways, hopped out. Adder bent down and said something that Ben couldn't quite hear. He thought, Adder said, I found him, but couldn't be sure. Adder looked over to Ben and called him towards the entrance. Sheepishly, Ben moved towards the opening. Upon getting there, the upside down horseshoe spoke. He had a rigid, authoritarian voice that commanded respect. Each word was pronounced hard and fast with a short but definite gap between them. Good to meet you, Mr. Small, sir. Ben returned the compliment with a much more humble tone. Nice to be here. Adder referred to the horseshoe as guardsman and asked him for safe passage for him and his companion into the city. The guard deliberately stepped to one side and stamped his foot on the floor like a soldier standing to attention. As he arrived at his new position, Ada gestured for Ben to enter first. Hastily, Ben advanced through the gap in the gates. Ada nodded to the guard, then followed. The guard turned in a military fashion, returned through the gates and slammed them shut with a loud and very deep echoing boom. Beyond the gates, Ben found himself in a large room. It reminded him of an old castle with its high walls and cold stone. Running around the room 
were more of the horseshoe guards. They all seemed to have somewhere to be and were very determined to be there. Ada came up next to Ben. This is the guard house, he said, like a tour guide. And these are the guards, replied Ben, gesturing to the scurrying horseshoe men. These are the ohms. His words were full of pride. They are our resistance against attack. But they don't have any weapons, exclaimed Ben. They don't need any. The more ohms there are, the less gets through. Defending by numbers. Defending by numbers, questioned Ada. This is defending by ohms. Thank you for listening. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. It's, uh, like I say, it's available on Kindle. It's in the style of Alice in Wonderland and Roald Dahl, that kind of children's not story that I think adults will enjoy as well. It's fun, it's informative, um, it's edutainment. Uh, please go to Kindle, uh, search Mathematical, M A T H A M. A G I A I C A L. Can't remember to spell it. Um, please go and have a look at it. Please um, buy it. Um, send this out to as many people as you know, and uh, see if we can have a hit. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, and thank you very much for listening. <laughs>